What is going on guys? Welcome to your 11th iPhone tutorial and in this story we're going to be adding a slider to our screen. However, before we get into that, I want to tell you guys about something because I am in a super good mood about something that just happened. Now, recently, well let me tell you this first. Down where I live, there are two major grocery stores. One's called Harris Theater and one's called Food Lion. Now, I normally shop at Food Lion and at either store you can get the special member card and it gives you like extra discounts like 10 cents off gallons of milk and stuff like that and anyways I usually shop at Food Lion and whenever you forget your member card you can just give them your phone number instead and you still get the discounts well anyways I was shopping at Harris Teeter recently and I was you know getting all my stuff ready to check out and I was walking by you know each of the cashiers seeing which line was the shortest and I saw this cashier that was super cute so even though her line was a little longer I decided to stand in anyways cuz you know she was cute give me something nice to look at so I got there put all my things on conveyor belt she was uh, you know ringing me up getting my total and I realized I forgot my member card for that store so I go can I give you my number cuz you know I still wanted discounts on my food even though I forgot my card in my car and she's like smiling and she takes out her cell phone and she's like yeah and she gets my phone number she thought I was trying to pick her up she gets my phone number and puts it in her cell phone so I was like uh alright so I just give her my number cuz I mean jeez this girl's cute trust me so anyways like an hour and a half ago she just called me and we talked for about an hour and evidently we're going to see Shrek on Saturday so yeah I mean uh pretty good uh pretty good series of events that just happened to me so anyways that is why i'm in incredible good mood so yeah let's get this tutorial probably not even gonna have time to finish the tutorial now but anyways go ahead and click on your view controller and it'll open up interface builder now of course what we want to do now is remember we had that slider and that label on the screen so go ahead and add a slider it's this thing right here drag that over and of course drag your label over my mouse is falling off the uh, mouse pad alright view mode control label there we go I'll get it eventually alright so on your slider what you want to do is go over into attributes right here and you want to mess with some values remember we had ours from one to 100 so let's go ahead add a 1 right here add a 100 right here and for initial this what as soon as your program starts up what do you want your slider to appear at by default pretty much well we want it to appear at 50 so it's right in the middle right here and by the way go ahead and expand this a little bit so it's the same length as these so now you're saying alright now what we have to do is change this label to your default value so you know we wrote code to change this label but by default it's whatever your initial value of the slider is so they you know correspond with each other so go ahead and set that label to 50 and set all your attributes for slider now after this we can go ahead and hook up all our outlets and actions so the first thing we want to do is hook up our outlet to this label so in the files owner um, go ahead and by the way anytime you want to select something but you know it's all lost in your screen just go ahead to this little mode right here and under your controls you can here are all your objects on your screen so anyways in this mode files owner hold down control drag it over to label let go and the outlet for this is s label at least mine is I don't know what you named yours and now for your slider go ahead and click on your slider object and go ahead in your slider connections and you say alright all of these things right here do I want to touch no 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 what we want is right here value change this means the action that gets called any time you change your slider either slide it up or down so go ahead and let me move my mouse I need a bigger mouse pad and move it excuse me drag it over files owner and the action of course is sliding so I mean everything looks good to go we should be good so go ahead file save and then go ahead in your Xcode build and run it and see what we get well I mean everything looks good by default again 50 and this default is 50 so let's go ahead and see if this baby works as you can see when we slide it it decreases one 
to 100 wow this thing is awesome so again don't forget each time we move this like that 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 each time we move it it sends this method right here sliding method so each time we move it all of this happens it gets the value it sets it equal to value it creates a new label and it sets that label equal to the new value of the slider and then of course it releases it so that is pretty much how you add a slider to your well screen and uh, you know some methods go along with it so I hope you enjoyed it if anything's a little fuzzy then just ask me a question in my forum link below and I'll be happy to answer it for you so uh yeah that's that I'm gonna go uh, think about this girl and uh yeah yep yep oh sorry I'll do that after the tutorial so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later